Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Our Solar System. Today, we will learn about the various planets that can be found in our solar system. Let us travel far beyond the trees and even further than the clouds. Let us explore what is beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Far beyond our world are other fascinating places that all make up our solar system. Join me on this solar system adventure. At the center of our solar system, more than 93 million miles or 149 million kilometers away is a gigantic ball of gas. The ball of gas is a star and through the process known as fusion, hydrogen is converted to helium. This solar energy provides heat and light which is essential for sustaining life here on Earth. This star is the closest to our planet, and we know this star as our sun. We get the term solar system from this star because it is central to our universe, and solar means having to do with the sun. The sun is the largest object in our solar system, and its gravitational pull is what keeps all the planets, the dwarf planets, comets, asteroids, and other space materials in orbit. Without the sun's gravitational pull, everything would spin off into deep space. The sun is huge. In fact, it is so big, more than one million Earths would fit inside of it. The surface of the sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 5,600 degrees Celsius, as you move towards the sun's core, the temperature rises even more. The sun's core is approximately 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, or 15 million degrees Celsius. Let us leave the sun and explore the various planets that orbit it. As we move away from the sun, the first planet we encounter is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and is slightly bigger than our moon. It is a terrestrial planet, which means it has a solid core. Despite being small, it is very dense and compact. The surface of Mercury is much like our moon. It is heavily cratered. Mercury does not have any satellites or ring systems, moons, or air to breathe. Though it is very close to the sun, Mercury experiences temperature extremes. During the daytime, temperatures can reach up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit or 430 degrees Celsius, while at night, the temperatures can fall below negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 180 degrees Celsius. Mercury experiences some of the most extreme temperature changes in all the solar system. Mercury is also the fastest planet to orbit the Sun. It takes approximately 88 days to complete its orbit. Next in our solar system adventure is Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. Because it is so similar to Earth in size and gravity, it is often called our sister planet, though the two have vast differences. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system with a surface temperature of approximately 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 482 degrees Celsius. This is thanks to its thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide that traps the heat of the sun. Though an atmosphere of gas surrounds it, it would not be safe for humans to breathe there. Venus is also a terrestrial planet with a solid core and a rocky surface. Like Mercury, Venus does not have a moon or ring system. Venus is the brightest planet in our solar system. Next in our solar system adventure is Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the place we call home. Earth is the largest terrestrial planet in our solar system and revolves around the Sun once every 365 days. 
Like other terrestrial planets, it has a crust, a mantle, and a core. A mixture of gases that in perfect balance create an environment that humans can breathe in surrounds Earth. We call it the atmosphere. Our atmosphere ensures that it does not get too hot or too cold here on Earth. As far as we know, this is the only planet in the solar system where you can find living things. Earth has one moon and the surface is covered mostly by salty water. Now let us learn about Mars. Mars is the fourth planet in our solar system. Like Earth and the other inner planets, it is terrestrial with a crust, a mantle, and a core. Its surface is made up of iron, nickel, and sulfur, giving it its reddish hue and its nickname as the Red Planet. The atmosphere on Mars is very thin and is made up primarily of carbon dioxide. If we can consider Venus to be our sister planet, then Mars would be our brother. Its rocky surface has land features just like on Earth. On Mars, you will find seasons, volcanoes, polar ice caps, cannons, and weather patterns. In fact, the tallest volcano in the entire solar system is located on Mars. It is called Olympus Mons and is about 13 miles or 21 kilometers high. Mars also has the biggest canyon in the solar system called Vals Marines. Mars is a cold planet with the average surface temperature of negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 6 degrees Celsius, and there is evidence of ice on Mars in the polar ice caps. Mars has two irregularly shaped moons, and scientists believe they may have been captured from the asteroid belt that separates Mars and Jupiter. An asteroid belt is a big ring of rocky objects or asteroids that along with other space material orbit the Sun. Planets beyond the asteroid belt are called outer planets. The fifth planet in our solar system adventure is Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet in our solar system and the largest. Unlike the previous planets, Jupiter is called a gas giant because it is so big and does not have a solid surface. It is possible that Jupiter has a core that is about the same size as Earth. Its surface is comprised of gases and liquids and is similar in composition to the Sun. Jupiter has approximately 79 moons. Some of them are really big, but some of them are also very small. Jupiter also has three ring systems, but they are very faint and hard to see. Jupiter is covered in swirling clouds and has enormously strong storms. One storm has been raging for hundreds of years and it is known as the Great Red Spot. The atmosphere is very thick and would not be safe to breathe. Next in our solar system adventure is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and is most known for its beautiful icy rings, giving it its nickname as the Ringed Planet. There are more than 30 rings surrounding the planet and these rings are made up of tiny ice, dust, and rock particles. It is an outer planet and is a gas giant. Saturn does not have a solid surface and is instead enveloped in swirling gases and liquids. It may have a core that is approximately twice the size of Earth. Like Jupiter, Saturn has major storm systems, some of which can be seen from Earth and are called white spots. Saturn has the most moons of all the planets in the solar system. It has approximately 82 moons with the possibility of more. Though it is very big, it is not very dense and would float if you were to place it in water. 
Now, let's learn about another outer planet, Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet in the solar system. Its chemical composition differs from that of Jupiter and Saturn, therefore it is considered an ice giant. Its atmosphere consists of more ice-like substances, hence the distinction as an ice giant. Uranus is approximately 14 times the mass of Earth. It is important to note that it rotates in the opposite direction than most planets, and it is the only planet that rotates on its side. Uranus has the coldest planetary atmosphere when compared to the other planets with an average temperature of negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 224 degrees Celsius. There are 13 known rings surrounding Uranus, but scientists have found them difficult to study. Uranus is unique in color and boasts a blue hue that is due to the presence of methane in the clouds surrounding it. This planet has 27 moons with a possibility for more. The next stop on our solar system adventure will take us to Neptune. Neptune is the most distant planet in the solar system at number 8. It is very cold and dark with a distance of about 4.6 billion kilometers or 2.8 million miles from the Sun. Similar to Uranus, it is classified as an ice giant because its composition differs from that of Jupiter and Saturn. The average surface temperatures hover around negative 353 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 214 degrees Celsius. Like all the other outer planets, Neptune also has a ring system with six rings surrounding it. Neptune has 14 moons. Similar to Uranus, it has methane present in its atmosphere and therefore it has a blue hue. Neptune is so far away from the Sun that it takes 165 years to complete one orbit. It has the longest orbit of all the planets in the solar system. Long ago, Pluto was listed as the ninth planet in the solar system. Through extensive research, new discoveries, and further investigations, in 2006, Pluto was listed as a dwarf planet as it no longer met all the criteria necessary to be considered a planet. This new term identified Pluto as planet-like, and since then that category has grown to include five other dwarf planets. So, the dwarf planets are listed as such based on their order from the Sun. Cirrus, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. The possibility for more dwarf planets is great. Now you know the eight official planets in our solar system. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Thanks for taking this solar system adventure with me today. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easyahomeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.